Hey everyone and welcome to this short guide on making a button with an icon. Now as a junior front-end developer or someone learning to do front-end development, making a button with an icon can be a tricky prospect. But with this guide we'll show you how to do it in the easiest way possible. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Visual Studio Code as our IDE or our editor for our code. Now, the reason why we're using that is because of two extensions. The first extension is Live Server. So Live Server is what we're going to be using to host the website. So this index.html is going to be served locally with this extension. So we don't need to get it set up with any other add-ons or uh, NPM packages or anything like that. It's all set up here. Now, the second one we're going to be using is also very important. It is the Live SAS compiler. Now the live SAS compiler is essentially going to allow us to make styling changes in the SAS preprocessor. So we'll be able to use SAS files, but it will also convert it to CSS files for us so we can use it locally. So once you've installed Visual Studio Code and you've installed the two extensions, uh, you'll now be on the same stage that we are now. And what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that you've created an index.html in a new folder. And inside that index.html file, we're going to create a button element. And the button that we're going to make is a menu button. So we'll just type menu into here. So once we've created that, let's go have a look at it. I've already started live server, but if you can see in the bottom right here, it's now gone offline. What we want to do is make it go live. And that will automatically run your website and show us the button that we've created. So now that we've started the uh, server, this is what it should look like. And we can see the button right here with our text. And let's go back because we do want to style that now. Traditionally, we would create a CSS file and we would say all our styling goes in there, but we're going to do it slightly differently. We're going to create a styles folder. And within that, we are going to create a SAS file. So let's create that. And what we'll say is the button will have a border of two pixels dashed and red. That's not going to do anything because that's in the SAS file. So if we go to the index file and we are going to add a link to the style sheet. So if we go here, we'll add the link and we'll go styles. We'll go into the styles folder and we'll add that. You can't just directly add a SAS file to the index.html file. So what we'll do is we will start to run our SAS watcher. And if we go down here, you can see that once we've installed live SAS compiler, we get this nice button. If you don't see any of these icons uh, from the extensions, just reload Visual Studio Code and it should be fine. So let's click that. And now you can see here, this terminal should open and it should say that it's watching. So it should create two extra files, a style.css or .css file based on whatever you name this. And then it should also create a .css.map. Now what that does is that essentially remembers how many spaces and all the formatting and how you arranged it. So that if you ever minimize it and then you want to go back, there's a memory of how you organized it, which is always a really clever thing to have. But this is what we're going to be focusing on now. That has all our style again. And if we go to here, that should remember it just fine. And you can see here that it's already linking the CSS map file. What we want to do is we want to link the actual CSS file because that can actually be read by browsers and can be read by the index.html. So the moment we change that and we go back, there you go you can see our styling. That by itself is all well and good, but we want to style it a bit more. So the first thing we should do is we shall add a proper border. Let's close this down. So let's add one pixel solid and we will add dark, let's say dark magenta. And we want the color of the button to be white. So if we go back, there we go. We don't want it to be dashed, we want it to be solid. So then we should get that. And the reason why I've chosen color white is because we are going to set the background color to dark magenta as well. As these two match, just set the border to transparent and it still keeps the border, but you just can't see it. And the reason we need a border is because we want to slightly round the edges. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If we add, just to show you on a ridiculous level how much we could do it, let's set it to 20 pixels. And you can see how much 
it rounds the border radius but that's a bit too much so what we want to do is we want to set that to maybe three pixels and then that rounds the borders to three pixels but even that is a bit too much for me so let's try two pixels and that should be about fine so now that we've got the menu kind of looking right we want to add our icon so how do we do that so if you go back to the index.html so you can see that we've got a link file here getting our style sheet but we also need another style sheet and this second style sheet we're going to get is going to contain our icon so we can put them in and we're going to put the icon here so what we're going to use is something called font awesome now if you haven't come across this before font awesome is this amazing free library of icons and they have many many different styles they've got free versions they've got pro versions they've got duotone versions they've got brands you know you name it they've got it and it's the go-to icon font on the web uh, especially if you're learning because this is this is the font library that i use when i was first learning as well now the way that we include this is that we use a content delivery network or a CDN to uh, host our font awesome style sheet. Now you can also download it and host it locally, but for now we'll just use a CDN. So if we grab that, and if you use cdnjs.com, uh, that's the one I use for all my CDN links. And we go back here, we can see that oh, that's for some reason decided to go back to its old styling. You can see that we've got the styling here, but with no icon. We're gonna go add the icon now. So let's add another link attribute. But this time, what we're going to do is we are going to link it to this CDN for Font Awesome for version 5.14. Now the reason why 5.14 is important because that's the one that the website is using and showing you for free which icons you can use so let's put this on a new line reason being is we are going to add a new line here with the icon so let's go to font awesome and now I, you can see that I've already got the bars open here what we want to do is if we click icons up here and we type in bars we get the menu bars here so if you wanted for example a magnifying glass for a search you could get that but we're going to use the bars for our uh, little menu now the way we add it is we add this bit of HTML to our markup so if we go here and we just click it we can automatically copy it we go back to Visual Studio Code and on line 12 we'll add our icon and all it is it's just an icon element with a custom class name that adds the icon there so if you go back and there we go and we've got our menu button all sorted and it's really as simple as that from this point onwards if you are following along what I would suggest you do is you add some hover effects. So hover effects like the cursor. So if we go here and we add cursor pointer, and what that will do is once you hover over it, it will add this clicky icon, this cursor icon, which means that it is a button and you can click it. And you can also do fun things like change the background color. So if we go here and we change the background color. Now, because we are using SAS, we're able to use certain um, SAS uh, functions so things like lighten so we could use lighten here we could add the color and we could say we want to make it 10 percent lighter so that's going to lighten that color there so then if we hover over it should lighten it for us now, there's a whole bunch of things you could do uh, with hover effects and with the button but the point is you now have a button with an icon and that's how you set up a button with an icon. Hopefully that was useful. If you did like the video, please do like and subscribe and make sure you click the bell notification. I've been Harry and this has been Curious Bite.